special about this performance. There are two high school children from Pune. And uh, before I... Sanjay, can you please come on to the stage? Because we need to share with you why we invited them. And, uh, and I would like to thank both their teacher and Tanvi about this. The unique thing about this... Sanjay, do you want to share? Okay, so uh, Trupti and Priyanka, they are from the Red Cross Society School for the Deaf in Pune. And uh, the interesting thing about this dance was, uh, first of all, let me teach you an exercise, just like hand exercise, just like Lakshmi did. Can you do this? Because this is the way to say this, is, this dance was awesome. Okay? <laughs> so both Trupti and Priyanka could dance because of the Blee Watch. So, so the bottom see. line is, you were hearing the music, but they couldn't hear the music. But they felt the music. <laughs> so, the entire, so the entire dance was done with them feeling the music through the technology that his lab has yes. created. So, so I just wanted to share that before we had the conversation. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I also wanted to thank um, Shilpa Datar, their teacher here, because, you know, whatever technology you bring in, you can't replace the human teacher, right? Correct. <laughs> because all the labbers are good in AI and all this kind of technologies, blockchain. But that's not what excites us. It's about creating moments like what you just saw, right? And um, we work with a lot of nonprofits in this area, and Blee is one of them. They're led by two very young women entrepreneurs. And when we saw what they're doing, our question was, how can we take you even further? So what that solution was, it was an, a, a wearable device that can extract, so that is the cell phone in the center, is a hub and spoke model, a little technical, but this, through our technology, we are able to extract beats from any song, right? And then through the hub and spoke model, able to push the vibration in synchrony to all those wearable devices. So a group can dance, they can feel the music, even if they cannot hear the music. And that's the whole idea. And that's what uh, we wanted to bring music in the life of people who can't hear. Right? Great. Okay. Um, and tell us about, you know, I had the opportunity to visit their lab uh, the other day. And uh, there are many things you're working on. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing in financial inclusion. Oh, yeah, sure. So we uh, call this program as Tech for Good. Yeah. And we run it across the globe, you know, across all of our seven labs. But in India, we do maximum because there's so much opportunity here. 
So uh, the, the whole idea is, uh, how do you bring all these exponential technologies to solve exponential problems? You know, if you look at problems of inclusion, women empowerment, healthcare, education, financial inclusion, reskilling our youths for tomorrow, all these are not for a few thousand people. You're talking about millions and billions of people. And then you need technologies like AI, blockchain, wearables, augmented reality, in a very creative way, you know, and again, technology is not alone, but in a very creative way to redefine the problem and to reimagine the solution. So the Tech for Good has been doing a number of things. With Grameen, in particular, you asked me that question. Uh, the big challenge was, how do you create uh, awareness of uh, financial services uh, in the women population in the villages as well as the low-income communities, right? And the big challenge that Grameen faced, the, the leaders in this space, is that people are not literate, they can't read and write. How do you teach them financial uh, you know, terminologies and things like that? And then we said that, okay, they can't read and write, but they can speak, they can understand, and they, they can do that in the local language. Why don't we have a conversational bot which can speak Marathi, because they're rolling it out in Maharashtra, right? Or which can speak Bengali. So we helped Grameen create the Grameen Guru, which speaks Hindi, Marathi, and Bengali at this point in time. And it is being used and rolled out by Grameen for more financial education, so that people can take a very informed choice, you know, about their own well-being, their financial well-being, their social well-being. So that's the, the yeah. Grameen. Work so, we have been doing. you know, and as we talked about I, in your lab, I saw many verticals. So, financial inclusion is one. And this is health in a different way, but you're doing some other things in health as well. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Sure. I, I think uh, you will see a lot of common design patterns in everything we do. For one, we believe that, you know, technologies like AI, you know, it is, its biggest power is in augmenting humans to make us in some way a superhuman to uh, allow us to do things which we cannot do otherwise, right? And in the area of health, what is happening is um, the biggest killer today is the non-communicable diseases, right? Diabetes, stress, so on and so forth. And in fact, uh, the CEO of Maya Health is also here. Alex, if you're there, please stand up. So with Alex, what we have been doing, and even Nataraj must be here, if Nataraj, you're there. So what, what we have been doing in Chennapatna, south of, uh, Bangalore, is we are trying to create a unique ecosystem powered with technology. So what is happening is the rural youths, they are turning into micro-entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They are now, you know, using that platform, they are going the last mile and, and finding out the health of using technology, the various health parameters of people in the rural areas, and they are helping them connect to the right uh, you know, people and services so that they can proactively take care of the health. The so whole focus is on wellness, so they should not fall ill, right? So that's a huge rollout along with Alex we are doing. And these are some of the work that we do in the lab. These are all pro bono, but we want to accelerate societal transformation with all the wonderful social innovators around us. So Sanjay, you guys have won, Tech for Good has won every possible award, etc. Where do you see it going? Where do you want to take it? How many countries is it in? Is it about going to more verticals? Is it about going to more countries? What is your uh, dream yeah. for Tech for Good? See, for, my dream is not about how many, you know. My dream is more about bringing a culture change. And I was very inspired with our vice president's speech yesterday. If I look, at, if I try to distill it down to three words, it is, you know, build, use these technologies to build solutions which are sensible, which are responsible, and which are explainable. And what I mean by that is, you know, we often tend to dump technology on problems. That's not the solution. In all these verticals that we work on, you have to co-innovate with the impacted people. You have to design a solution that they have trust, they can absorb, right? So it has to be a sensible solution. When I talk about responsible solution, I mean that, you know, almost every solution you see, is becoming intelligent. You may not realize how much AI is entering into our lives. So are you using the right data? What is the veracity of the data? Are you training your models right? Is the data hopefully not biased so that you are not you know, discriminating against a certain group, for example, right? 
And then finally, when I said explainable because as more and more automation and algorithms enter our life, we can't you know, delegate the responsibility to the algorithms. The humans, as humans, we are still responsible to be the trainers of the machine, to be the sustainers of the machine, and to be the explainers of the actions taken by the machine. Correct. You cannot say, okay, the machine took it, I don't know. So I think our solutions have to address all of these. And if we can bring this kind of culture change, you know, mindset, it's not end of that your solution works. You know, it is very important, it should be sensible. You're not impacting the environment or any of the sustainable development goal areas in, an, you know, in a different way, right? So sensible, responsible, explainable. If I can bring that culture change or mindset change, you know, that's what I am achieving. You know, we are already doing across all seven labs across the globe and across, you know, with many non-profits around the globe. But that is just number. Yeah. The important thing, I will be happy and I, my organization will be happy is we can bring that mindset change around responsible AI, the right way of human-machine interaction yeah. and things like that. And I think it's great. You're creating a model, you're creating a blueprint, you're creating some examples out there so somebody can take it and run with it. Absolutely. So. I want people to feel that these are real. Yeah. You know, your next great technology should not be the next Facebook. Yes. Right? Yeah. We human, you know, let's solve the tough problems faced by humanity. And that's what the whole aim is about. Great. Thank you so Thank much, you so Sanjay. Much. Thank you.